So here we are again with the same old problem of uh, field planting. Uh, I have had to discontinue the recording because uh, I was getting too long a video, so I decided to um, cut it down into split it down into two or three videos. And unfortunately, this is the third video, and I'm not sure if I will be able to complete this here. But uh, uh, let's try. So we have stopped after two uh, sections in the previous video. Uh, we have taken the first section between uh, uh, point B and uh, here. Uh, then we have uh, taken the second section between the point load of 40 kN and the point load of 30 kN, a section between here. The first section was thus between RB and uh, 40 and uh, the second section was this one between uh, the 40 kN load and uh, the 30 kN load. So we have calculated four moments. The first one, uh, at point B, uh, uh, moment we have calculated zero. So let's call this, uh, uh, let's call that uh, uh, moment as, uh, let's say this one and we have uh, also uh, calculated the second moment uh, at this location here which is uh, 192 so let's call it 2 and uh, then we have used uh, the equation or the section between these two so we have again calculated the moment at this point so obviously that will be the same as the previous moment so you calculated the third one here 192.495 which is the same as this one because both points are same at uh, the uh, the beam and you have calculated the fourth one 279.99 uh, newton meter that is at the location at the point of uh, action of the 30 kN load. Now, it is a good method to check that you are doing it right uh, to make sure that uh, when you're taking sections here and here, you will have a common point. Uh, the 40 kN will be the ending point of the section in here and uh, the starting point of the section when you take section here. And both the, in both those uh, equations, you should get at same moment and this location which we have uh, managed to get in in here you have got 192.495 in the first equation which is the last point of the section and again 192.495 newton meter in the first equation of the next moment equation uh, first uh, calculation or first uh, location of the moment equation now you need to create the third moment or the third moment equation which obviously is between the point of action of this 30 kN load and uh, Ra or the reaction at A. Because there is no point load, you can take this entire region of 6 meter as one single section. Now, let's see what we get there. So, what you have is uh, beam there, you have Rb you have your 40 kN and uh, the 30 and also you have the uniformly distributed load. Now the distances are 1.5, 1.5 and let's say this as x. Uh, this is 20 per meter. Now, it's not, not complicated at all. Once you have the basics, this is very easy. So you take moment from the section, which is this point here, and the distances are shown. You know RB is 143.33. Now let's uh, write the bending moment equation. So the moment of that section, the moment about this section will be this. 
moment about x uh, sorry my x is a bit confusing so moment about x is equal to you have rb acting uh, counterclockwise or ccw direction creating a counterclockwise moment at a distance of 1.5 plus 1.5 plus x so rb that is a load the distance is 3 plus x this load is creating a moment opposite to rb therefore minus 40 and the distance is 1.5 plus x from this moment center so minus 1.5 plus x minus 30 kilonewton acting at a distance of x so that's 30 x and then you have the moment created by the total load of this uniformly distributed load now you know the total load in this section due to the uniformly distributed load will be 20 times 3 plus x so that is the total load of the uniformly distributed load and that load will be acting at half distance of this distance half of this distance so the moment of uh, uh, or moment due to this load will be the moment of that load will be 20 times 3 plus x times 3 plus x by 2 why this divided by 2 because this is the total load and uh, that load will be acting as a point load at a distance halfway through this total distance so you have got a total load of 20 times 3 point x and that load will be acting at 3 point x by 2 from this point from the moment center so your 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 moment equation for the moment due to the uh, uh, uniformly distributed load will be 10 times 3 plus x whole squared so that will be your moment equation 10 times 3 plus x squared now you have your x varying from this location here to a so the total distance is x 6 meter so the first point is x equal to 0 here and the last point is x equal to 6 here so these are the two limits you need to apply for this equation that is x equal to 0 to 6 so add x equal to 0 the moment will be 3rb minus uh, 40 times 1.5 so this will become 0 so 40 times 1.5 is 60 minus this will become 0 and this will become 3 squared times 9 which is 9 times 10 that is 90 so that is your moment equation at x equal to 0 and remember this should be that value should be equal to this 279.99 why because your point is the same it's the same at the uh, the 30 kilonewton uh, at this location so your 279.99 which you have calculated in your uh, second moment equation should be same as this value here so let's see what happens so 3rb uh, we know rb is 143.33 so 143.33 times 3 minus 150 that is 279.99 newton meter so that is same as this one so that's your fifth moment now you have the last one which is at the x equal to 6 at x equal to 6 you have uh, 3 plus 6 9 uh, so that will be 9 rb minus 7.5 times 40 so that's 7.5 times 40 that's 300 minus 30 times 6 that is 80 minus 
6 plus 3, 9, 9 squared, 81, 81 times 10 is 810. So let's see what this will be. This should become 0 because at the end of your moment uh, or the beam, at reactions, at both these reactions, your moment should be 0. If this is a simply supported beam, uh, which is supported at uh, either ends. So your RB is 143. 0.33 so 143.33 times 9 minus 30 minus 80 minus 810 so I'm getting something wrong here 9 RB minus uh, oh this is wrong here it should be 9, yeah, 40, uh, when you 6 plus 1.5 times 40, 7.5 times 40 is 300, it's not 30, it's 300. And uh, 30 times this is 190 and this is 80. So that's 143.33 times 90 minus 300 minus 180 minus 810. That is minus 0 0.00003. So that is just the approximation of this load 143.33. So you get zero. Approximately zero. That that will be. That, you need to use the exact values of RB to get uh, zero on your calculator. So that's your last moment value. So your sixth value. Now, uh, this this is a tip. You you should make sure that you get zero at either ends for the first one and the last one should be zero. Your second and third will be same. You have got 192.495 at your second and your 192.495 in the third. And your fourth and fifth will be the same, 279.99. And then again, 279.99 here. And the last value will be zero. Now, you can draw your bending moment diagram based on what you have just calculated. I'm just going to draw the bending moment diagram below the shear force diagram so that it will be uh, a bit clearer now i'm going to draw uh, a baseline for your uh, for your uh, um, bending moment diagram here uh, that's your baseline now you can you can draw uh, the bending moment diagram you will have these points to look at because this is where you have calculated your your bending moment these locations are the ones where we know values for the bending moment and then you know the bending moments and these two so because these bending moment diagrams are, uh, cal uh, are uh, uh, not, they, they are not linear functions they are a square law uh, and therefore your bending moment diagram will be a curve so you have zero here and zero here and you have 192.495 here and you have 279.99 here and your bending moment diagram will be uh, going through these points we we can also say here that uh, your bending moment diagram will be the maximum at the location where your shear force is the minimum and uh, vice versa your shear force will be maximum where bending moment is zero so you have zero bending moments in these two locations and your shear force will be the maximum on these two and uh, where you have a zero shear force your bending moment will be the maximum at that location so you have a curve the maximum of that curve is here you don't know the value yet I, I will I will tell you how to calculate that but uh, you can draw a curve through these lines here so I'm going to use uh, a circle here let's see if that's that can be used
nearly perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this away because you don't need that. You don't need need those two points. So you have a, a it's 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 not perfect, but it's nearly perfect. So I can I can I can erase these these stuffs here, and uh, now you have a, a, a nearly perfect um, bending moment diagram. Obviously, the ends should be a bit more on to on to the, 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 the this here. Uh, I don't think it's the best way to. So I will, I will rather use my my pen to create it. So it will be assume this is a curve. This is a, this is a perfect curve. Uh, although I have I have failed to create a perfect curve here. This is your your the shape of your your bending moment diagram. Okay, now as I said, this is your maximum point, so your curve should look like you reach the maximum point at here, if you know what I mean, and then uh, turning down. And, and, and as I said, you still don't know what the maximum value of your bending moment diagram, which I will explain in a short video in the next one. I'm sorry to drag this on, but uh, uh, I don't really want to. Uh, record a video for 25 minutes so this is your bending moment diagram and uh, uh, let's come back and uh, calculate the maximum bending moment at this location here this is where your maximum bending moment is uh, that is the bending moment maximum and uh, uh, you know uh, the location of the maximum bending moment by looking at the location of zero shear force the bending moment will be maximum at zero shear force point and the shear force will be maximum at uh, max, uh, the zero bending moment point so let's calculate the maximum bending moment for this uh, uh, problem in the next video keep watching and uh, once again thank you for watching